Mukbang episode pho. The biggest full of pho, delicious ingredients, and no veggies. Do you guys hear that? It's me again, your conscience. What? You were not about to eat that pho noodle soup without trying the original one. Yeah, I was about to eat this. Well, I call the shots. You're going to Vietnam, boy. Vietnam? That's not even the hard part, boy. You're gonna have to find a field and ride a cow. I have to ride a cow? It all relates to the noodle soup, boy. Wait, if I ride a cow, I might die. Yep. It's not worth it for this bowl of noodles. Once you try the real noodles, it will be. Is it really? And you must go to the most authentic pho noodle shop in Hoi An, Vietnam and find the real pho. How will I know if it's the right one? Once you taste it, boy, you'll know. What do you mean, I'll know? You'll know, once you taste it. Now put on some pants and leave! My conscience just told me I have to go to Vietnam to ride a cow and find the pho first. They say you are what you eat, so I'm far ba. <laughs> I think this is the one, guys. Oh. It is! Yeah. Back from Vietnam! Mukbang episode pho. <coughs> so first we gotta heat up our pho broth. A lot of delicious stuff there, aniseedy beef flavor, if you're into that. Um, now let's talk noodles. We've got rice noodles here. Rice noodles are very popular in Vietnam. They're not only used in pho, they're also used in other dishes. There we go. These rice noodles have been parboiled and you want to make sure you use quite a lot. I've got these meats over here. This is called bo vien. It's a beef ball, a beef meatball which is super tender, no filler, all killer. And this is just thinly sliced filet steak. Okay, the thinly sliced filet steak we can put on top of the noodles. And once we pour the hot broth over the beef, it will cook it like almost just rare. The beef balls we can add into the broth. A little raw meat never hurt anyone. Delish. Vietnam is truly a great place. You should really visit it. It's like one of those hidden tourist destinations no one really knows about. But it's worth it once you go, for real. You can live like a freaking king for five euros there. For real, like two euros for a hostel, two euros for food, and one euro for like 10 beers. Happy life. The broth is boiling rapidly. Okay, time to cook the meat. The Vietnamese meatballs go in as well. Vô bien they're called. Okay, now you've got yourself a pretty good noodle soup. No veggies, nothing. Just delicious, all meat pho. Take a snapshot. Hashtag Vietnam, hashtag for real, hashtag Halong Bay, hashtag full metal jacket. This is an all meat pho. No veggies, no cilantro, none of those soy bean sprouts, just meat. That's how I like it. Are you for real? <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Editing Guy, for making me seem funnier than I am. Tastes just like Vietnam. It shouldn't be called full metal jacket, it should be called faux metal jacket. The meat is still kind of pinkish in the middle, still red, still medium.
Isn't pho one of the most recognizable soups ever? I mean, you've all heard of pho, right? Tom yum, pho, indomie. I don't believe in vegetables. I find, veg I find most vegetables intrusive. Like tomatoes and salad on a burger. It's drink matching time. I've got a drink, it's called Vita Malz. It is made out of malt. It's totally, it doesn't have any alcohol. It's really, really sweet. It's almost like root beer, just, I guess, sweeter. Yes, like a full pint. It tastes a little bit like root beer. This all meat pho, gosh. These bovien, these meatballs, we have something similar called bakso in Indonesia. I love bakso. When I was traveling Vietnam, I would always pretend I'm from Vietnam and just go to some tourists and go, Oh, you want to buy a tour to Halong Bay? And everyone would be like, no, it's really annoying because everyone's trying to sell you tours and tickets and clothing and whatnot. So I would just add fuel to the fire. Oh, you want to check out my funky shop? All day. You know, once I was pretending to sell tours and selling pretend. You know, once I was when I was in when I was in Hoi An, Vietnam. I was pretending to sell tours and I was pretending to sell clothing. So I went to this girl on the street and I said, "Oh, you want to buy a tour to Halong Bay?" And the usual response from tourists is like, "Oh no, go away. We'll get it ourselves." And she was like, "Yeah, I'd love to." I was like, "Crap! What do I know now?" Well, we're really good friends now. Hi, Gabrielle. If you're watching this. Meat and noodle. All right, the last meatball. I'm commemorating the last meatball to all the people in Vietnam selling tours to tourists. You guys are hilarious. I hope you sell a couple. Hommage. I went to Vietnam for this episode. I really hope you subscribed for that. Thanks for watching me and my conscience have the weirdest conversations ever. And please subscribe. I mean, come on, I went to Vietnam for this video. So please subscribe, have fun, watch the other videos if you want to see Poutine, poutine, click over here. Enjoy guys. Oh, and by the way, we have a new guy here working with us in Awesome Eats. Big announcement. Jean-Pierre will be joining us on Awesome Eats. He will show us French delicacies, Swiss delicacies, everything that has, you know, a little French influence and he will talk us through. Mukbang with Jean-Pierre. Check him out over here. Guys, see you later, alligator.